my channel if you're new around here my name is Hannah if you're not new welcome back today I'm gonna start a weekend of my life vlog I feel like I haven't filmed one of these videos since I started like my new shift schedule for work so if you are new around here or you're not familiar I essentially used to work Sunday through Wednesday and then I would have Thursday Friday Saturday off but my schedule just changed to Monday through Friday like during this month and so I have Saturday and Sunday off like a normal person and I feel like I haven't really filmed a weekend in my life since I moved over to that shift schedule. I actually have some really fun things planned for this weekend. As you guys saw I just dropped like a package off at USPS, went to Trader Joe's to pick up some kombucha, I have a few like household things to do, I have some school meetings to do and then I also have a dinner later tonight with friends. Also, I apologize if you can hear my dishwasher. It's so loud and annoying. But I don't know. I just feel like this will be a fun weekend to film. And I haven't picked up the camera to film one of these in a while. So, welcome to it. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up before we even get started. And I hope you guys enjoy. With this little scooper. So you can just leave it in. And you drank too much. You said I only want you, only want you When we woke up, you were gone Okay, now the laundry was put away that has literally been sitting out in my like common area for a few days now and it needed to be put away. I was just being lazy, but I'm gonna pour myself some kombucha. I feel like I've been eating so gross the last few days. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna literally wash these clips back and you're gonna be able to hear this dishwasher. But I just feel like I've been eating really gross and I don't know. Obviously kombucha is not the healthiest for you, but I feel like it does something. I hope it does something. <laughs> so I just kind of wanna like have a little bit of kombucha to maybe feel a little bit better. I did start with like a healthier lunch slash breakfast, so we're on the right track. It was obvious you only came through cause you had nothing to do. When we woke up, you were gone. You said you never ever let me go But you just didn't wanna be alone I'm so exhausted, I honestly might have to make another cup of coffee I actually think we made like half a craft this morning I think that there's a little bit left Honestly, I might pour myself a glass of iced coffee But I'm getting ready to get on a meeting in five minutes for my group project We have like a video presentation to do this week and it's wrapping up the course so I technically finished this class at the end of this week, so Friday or Sunday of next week. So our final group project is due tomorrow and it's a video presentation. And considering I'm the only one in the group that really knows how to do like video editing, I kind of took charge of that part, which is literally probably the biggest part of the project minus like gathering all the information. So we're meeting in five minutes to talk about like what we want to do, make sure we have everything aligned. I need for them to all send me their videos. I need to screen record a presentation, put it together in Final Cut Pro, upload it to like my YouTube account for my grad school email, and then go from there. Honestly, it shouldn't be that hard because literally I edit on a daily basis for YouTube, but it's just a matter of like, I feel like group projects are the hardest when you have to rely on other people's information as well. So I need them to record themselves and send it to me. And I need to get their parts of the group presentation in order to turn it in. Versus if I was just doing it myself, I'd probably already have it done and turned in. But I guess that's the point of group projects. Is you guys have to work together and communicate, which is fine. It's just, I'm not the best group project worker that there is. I prefer to like work individually just because I like to get things done and on my own time and so working group projects is definitely sometimes a struggle for me but I've survived this class doing a group project every single week so I feel like that's kind of a win in my book and I definitely learned patience, collaboration, and communication throughout this course so that's good but I'm getting ready to jump on that like I said and then I'm not really sure what I plan after. I'm anticipating this meeting's gonna run for like an hour or two and then I might take a nap. I'm going out to dinner, like I said, at 7 with my friends. We're celebrating 1K on YouTube. We're all going out to dinner and just going to get drinks and hang out. Um, and then meet up with our boyfriends after to get some like more drinks after dinner. But that's not until 7. And the place that we're going to is only like 30 minutes away, I think, by subway. So I have a, honestly like a decent amount of time to fill before I go. And I don't nap, but a nap is kind of calling my name today, I think. Sorry, I just have to wait for just a second. I ended up making 
a second coffee. Are we surprised? Probably not. I was really starting to fade during that meeting and was like, I just need a pick-me-up and the coffee's already made so it's really not that big of a deal and i didn't want to waste coffee anyways so you know i'm actually doing some good i feel like but i just finished the project meeting i now need to go ahead and potentially start putting all of this together it's due tomorrow night and i told them just to have all of their audio files and everything submitted to me via google drives by tomorrow morning and then I can just spend an hour or two editing. Like I said, the editing is going to be easy for me because I literally do this on a daily basis for YouTube. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just more of like a time consuming process. It's just like nitty gritty. But I do need to record like my audio section of the presentation and then upload that. So I might go ahead and do that. But I think I'm going to take a, just like a brain break and watch some YouTube. I have a lot of videos to catch up on because a lot of people have been posting within the last two days and I feel like I've been slacking with watching YouTube videos and I've also been slacking with filming YouTube videos. YouTube has kind of just taken like a back seat within the past two or three days and so I need to get back on it. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and watch some videos. I see that like Bebe Hey uploaded, Ashley Taylor, Lauren Doan, Natalie Barbu, Rachel Radke, Brooke Michio, Alex Cooper, Life of RGR. All of my fave YouTubers are uploaded so I have a little bit of content to catch up on and watch. Um, so I'm gonna take a little a little brain break for a bit, do that, then I need to get ready eventually, and then I will get back to work. The grind never stops. Alright, it's a lot later, but I did get ready to go out. Like I said, I'm going out to dinner. This top is from Misguided, I think. I got it last year. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it to link it, but if I can, definitely will. This is a Miranda Fry Julia necklace. My Madewell hoops and then these like mini hoops are from Vita Siana. Jeans are Zara. I'm obsessed with these jeans. You guys know it. I wear them all the time. And I don't know. I just feel like this top, it's like really cute it's the perfect outfit to go grab some margaritas and tacos and stuff like that and i'm really excited i need to find shoes though i think i'm just gonna wear my vans i was gonna wear booties and i'm like do we really want to wear booties mm, probably not and then i'm also gonna like throw a jacket on over this obviously to walk there we're sitting inside because indoor seating isn't open up in new york but to walk there is gonna be freezing so i'm gonna wear like my big heavy coat but just wanted to share the ootd because I actually really like it. Update, I changed out of the shirt. The sleeves made me like way too hot. I was sweating, TMI. So I just put on this black tank that's from Princess Polly and put my hair in a low bun for right now. This may come out later, but I kind of like the vibe. It's like a mature, but like edgy, classy look. I'm here, kind of here for it. <laughs> Cause I had nothing to do. I was a little confused when you picked up and said hello. It's obvious You're not looking for love, looking for love But a night with you It's just enough And now I never want to let you go Cause I know what it's like to be alone I know it's better to be lonely Than to fuck up somebody I don't really day it's Sunday and I'm currently working on schoolwork I have a project due today as I mentioned yesterday and I'm just kind of wrapping it up but I had such a good time last night I know I kind of like threw in a few clippets of like what my friends and I were doing but essentially we went out to dinner at a really really good taco and margarita place we went it was at the bottom of the Empire State Building which honestly I thought was really cool but they also have like various locations in the city so that was nice i kind of want to check out some of their other locations they look like really cool and like very extravagant and then after that we ended up in koreatown actually and we went to this really cool place that was called the maze i think and basically the ceiling of this bar slash restaurant was literally a maze and then there were vines hanging all over i'm sure you guys saw it in the clips but it was like a very cool location like definitely a hidden gem and i'm so glad we ran into it but yeah overall it was a fun night and then we came back here we had bagels this morning like you saw i was working on schoolwork. we were watching narcos 
and now I'm just kind of wrapping up schoolwork. I am really freaking tired today and I just feel like the weekend has honestly flown by. I can't believe it's already Sunday. I guess that's what happens when you only have two days off versus three. Like I'm just so used to having three days off that now that I only have two days off, like the weekend literally just flies by. So I'm just going to wrap up schoolwork and get my life together a little bit, but I just hadn't picked up the camera and it's already 1 p.m. So I just wanted to like provide you guys with a little bit of update what's going on. This is the current setup. We have popcorn, I'm editing, have baby hay on the TV and a little kombucha down there. I finished my project for school. I exported the video. I just need to upload it to YouTube, but I'm gonna upload it to YouTube in a few hours because I'm going over to my boyfriend's and his Wi-Fi uploads my videos like within 30 minutes but if I try to upload it at my apartment it'll take six hours and at that point it'll be past due so I'm just gonna wait to upload it but I am currently editing this video actually so I can get up for you guys sooner rather than later so I'm editing like yesterday's content can you hear my heater I'm just like watching some YouTube and eating some popcorn and hanging out while doing that. I never sit at this angle. I'm like sitting with my feet up on my bed with the TV turned, but it's kind of comfy. I might start doing this more often. It's just more convenient because the TV doesn't turn all the way so that I can see it from my desk. I can only kind of see it, which can be annoying. So I kind of like this thing a little bit better. Maybe doing this more often. Just got a package from Amazon. So I'll do a little, you know, mini Amazon unboxing haul. I actually have four things. None of them are super interesting, but I always like seeing what people order from Amazon. So I'm gonna show you what I ordered from Amazon. So first thing I ordered was two boxes of disposable masks. These are the blue ones. I think these are like the medical grade ones. And then these ones are just the all black masks that everyone's been wearing. New York released information, I guess a few weeks ago, but I just heard about it a few days ago that you're supposed to be double masking now. Basically you're supposed to have a disposable mask and then a reusable mask on top of that, either that or just one N95 mask. I was not aware of the situation and I haven't been doing that, but just for the safety of like myself and others and then family and stuff like that, I think I am gonna start double masking. So I went ahead and ordered two boxes the black ones come in a pack of 50, and these other ones come in a pack of, it doesn't say, but I think they're 100. I will have both of them linked down below. They had really great reviews, and I've also had family and friends that have worn this exact same, these exact same brands and ordered these exact same masks, so I know that they actually work. Second thing that I got from Amazon is a little bit more exciting. I'm trying a new coffee brand, and by trying new coffee brand, I actually mean that I've already, <laughs> I've actually already tried this coffee brand before, so I don't know why I just said that. But it's Kauai Coffee. It's basically coffee from Hawaii, and they come in like very unique flavors, and they are literally so delicious. So I got the vanilla macadamia nut, and then the coconut caramel crunch coffee. I just feel like this is perfect timing, and the Lord's way of telling me that I need coffee, because this morning I ran out of coffee grounds in my apartment so I didn't have the opportunity to make them. And we do have coffee beans here, but I feel like the coffee beans are kind of old and I probably shouldn't be using them. I probably need to throw them out because they've been in that container for months now. And I don't know how long coffee beans are supposed to last, but I'm pretty sure months is not the right answer. So those need to be thrown out. But then I ordered, when we ordered bagels this morning, I ordered a coffee with my order and the Uber Eats person delivered it without my coffee, which is fine because we got like a refund, but I was like bummed because it was like a $6 coffee and I was really excited for it, but we got a refund for it, it's fine. And then I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, before I go to my boyfriend's apartment, do I like stop by a cafe and get a coffee to go even though it's 4 p.m.? I'm just addicted, I don't even really need it at this point. But right as I said that in my head, the Amazon guy rang the doorbell and he delivered coffee grounds to me. So I feel like this is like a gift from the Lord himself and I should make some coffee now and review it for you guys and give you guys a taste test. So do I wanna do vanilla macadamia nut or coconut caramel crunch? I'm kind of feeling vanilla. So let's go ahead and make this. All right, so we got the cup. For those of you that are gonna ask, this cup is from Home Goods, so I won't be able to link it, but it is super cute. It's like this big white cup with like textured ridges on the side and I'm obsessed with it. And then also this coffee machine is the Ninja coffee machines as literally so many settings. Honestly, I don't use it very often because I'm, I've am i just turned into like a weird coffee snob where I just have an obsession with Starbucks and pre-made coffee. But the machine is really nice and my friend Taylor, you guys have seen in vlogs, honestly you saw in this video, I was out with her last night. She has the same coffee machine and she actually influenced me to purchase it and she's obsessed with it. So it is a great coffee machine, like you can 
put a delayed brew so you can schedule it to brew automatically in the morning. You can do different cup sizes. You can do classic, rich, which I think is like an espresso type setting, over ice, cold brew, and specialty. Well, no, actually rich I think is just a strong coffee and then specialty I think is like the espresso latte type vibe and then you can also do tea in it but i don't use it very often just because i'm not a huge fan of hot coffee but i've been using it a lot more lately i will have to say all right this is like a weird angle but the first thing we need to do is open this up oh it smells so good this literally smells like heaven and then where's the scoop then i'm just gonna do two scoops of this this spoon has like the measuring settings, so I'm just going to do a normal cup, and for a normal cup you can do two to three scoops of coffee grounds. So I'm just going to do two because I don't want it to be that strong. Right, then we just go ahead and close it, change the setting to a normal cup, classic, and press start. Okay, I'm going to do a taste test. Like I said, I've tried this before, but I haven't had it in a while, so... You guys can get my real reaction. I'm going to do it without my typical creamer first, and then I'll do it with. So, hopefully I don't burn my tongue. It's not gross, I just burn my tongue. But the taste is so good. Honestly, I would get this coffee just for the smell. And then brew a cup, and then just like let it sit somewhere, and let it fill up my apartment with this smell. Because it smells so good. It has like a hazelnut, macadamia nut, vanilla type smell to it. And... I want it in a candle. Now I'm gonna add creamer to it. But like the natural flavor, like I would, like I just said, I don't know if I really explained that well, is really good. I feel like if you are not a huge creamer person and you don't like coffee with a lot of like flavor, or like you don't like sweet coffee, but you like coffee with flavor, the coffee grounds itself have like a really, really great flavor. And then I just add the creamer in because I do like a little bit of sweetness with my coffee. I don't like it to be like straight up like black coffee. So. I'm just putting in a little bit of vanilla sweetener in it. It looks, I wish you guys could see this, like, this just looks like the perfect cup of coffee, does it not? Does it not? Oh, so good. I'm linking this coffee for you guys down below. You need it. It's like six bucks on Amazon. It's from Hawaii. I think that this is like one of their number one brands. I don't know. You can read more about the history in the description of like the coffee ground products, but I'm obsessed. Wow, I miss this coffee so much.